And this is the deep dive, spoiler-filled discussion for A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. And the one of the things I really wanted to get into with this is... I know I'm going to get railed on for this, but I'm going to accept that. I don't have a particular default interest in vampire movies. I just don't. I think I've been burned too much, and they just don't hold an inherent interest for me. That said, I don't have a bias against them. I simply just don't get excited when I hear, hey, this new vampire movie's coming out. I'm like, okay. Um... But I think that for vampire movies to work, it has to go one of two directions. And it has to go at them fairly solidly. And the first is to have the vampire aspect of the film uh, be a device that furthers a character-driven story, that furthers character development, and works in tandem with telling a quality character based story and the one of the best examples I can think of is let the right one in uh, or the remake let me in I think both were done very very well um, and I think that vampire movies can really work in that extent the other side the other way that it can work is to forget the characters to forget the plot to forget all of that and go all in on the vampire aspect and make the most fun movie possible. And the best two examples I can think of that for is from Dust Till Dawn and John Carpenter's Vampires. Just go all in on the fun and make it as splatter fest, uh, you know, joyous <laughs> uh, vampire movie that you can. And I think that that works really well too. And this movie, I think one of its biggest sins for me, uh, for A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, is the fact that it did neither of those and ultimately what I wound up thinking when I finished watching it was you could remove all aspects of the vampire from the plot line and from the character and simply just make her a girl with a knife and you know the, some sort of killer vibe to her and you would wind up with exactly the same movie. The vampire portion of this did not enter into the character, did not enter into the plot, did not enter into anything, and could have been removed and you would have wound up with the same movie. And that for me is just a mortal sin. You know, if you're going to have a vampire movie, then have a vampire movie. If you're going to have it, you know, okay, uh, let the right one in. It was integral to the character. It was integral to their motivations and their developments and the conflict that was happening between them. And the, the, you know, plot devices, specific aspects of, you know, not being able to be out in the daytime and not, you know, and, and all sorts of elements like that played into the storyline and was deeply interwoven in here. Absolutely nothing about vampires created any conflict whatsoever with A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. And honestly, I couldn't see a whole lot of conflict about anything in general. It just meandered from one scene to the next with some spotty dialogue and some linger you know a ton of lingering moments of nothing and ultimately it just lost my interest so you know would i have been grading this differently if i was viewing this from a standard critical perspective instead of a horror review perspective i think probably but that's not the point of this channel and that's not the point of me making these videos my my making these videos is about rating horror movies on their own terms in terms of a horror film and this wasn't scary any horror aspect of it could be completely replaced and not affect the movie at all it had nothing to do with any character development there was no character development and that's about it um, I honestly don't have a whole lot more to say on this I know this was a short deep dive but, uh, you know, I discuss my opinions on vampire movies. I still, I, you know, I have, like I said, I have no bias against them. I think they can work really well. And some of my favorites are vampire movies. But ultimately, uh, I think that too often they focus on aspects of the vampire world that don't, don't really interest me a whole lot. I know there's the whole erotic subtext that goes along with them. I frankly just don't find that very engaging when it comes to a horror film. Um, I've, I've seen that work so rarely in terms of actually creating conflict and tension, uh, you know, beyond just sexual tension. And 
so often that is uh, dealt with in such a ham-fisted way when they decide to go that route with it. But that's just my take on it. And you may disagree with me. You may agree with me. Either way, I would really love to hear from you, hear your take on what you think of vampire movies. If you've seen A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, which I kind of hope you have considering you're watching a spoiler video on it. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of hope you haven't. Odd, odd thing there. Regardless, <laughs> I would love to hear from you. Uh, feel free to leave your comments in the discussion below, and uh, I will be reading them, and I will be responding to them, and I will be engaging with them. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining me here today.